Hello everyone, welcome back to the Roguelike Monthly Marathon for April 28th. Three days left, and what may well be three opportunities to try and beat the ziggurat and get that win in the trophy cabinet before the end of the month. So we're just going to hop straight in. New game, standard character, standard difficulty. So I looked up a couple of notes about the final boss, and it just seems to be find good kit, get a good amulet, and try and kill them quickly. So unfortunately, nothing extra to know about that. Starting with a magma blaster today. Last time we struggled to find any kind of explosive weapon early, but we'll see how this does for us. And we have fast enemies, which is a great way to start with really fast freaking pink chickens. Alright, it's probably a one job. Oh god, there's so many. So as ever, looking to get every piece of XP that drops before it has a chance to despawn. Looking to increase our max health as much as we can over the coming levels up. Searching for the secret room. Oh, that's very early. Spell attack rate or spell damage slightly decrease stave and alchemy. All right. Let's go into spell early, and we'll just start trying to rack up as much damage on one thing as we can, and just hope that it's going to work out in the long term. Probably not the most advisable strategy, but rather than fret and not commit to something, I'm going to commit to this early and see how that works out for us. This is a trap room panicked because I didn't know what the trap was, but we can run through that nice and safely. This is a standard fight. So we've got a pretty high damage grenade launcher basically in this weapon. We don't have any ammo for that remaining, but it shouldn't be too tough to finish this room off. Let's go collect some of our spoils. I think last run, one of the problems I had was as we got to kind of the fourth, fifth floors in the late game, I was just kind of getting lazy and tanking far too many hits rather than kind of playing sensibly, maintaining my health, doing all of those kind of sensible things rather than just being like, oh, I'm frustrated. I'm just going to tank all the hits and get to the next room as fast as possible. So there'll be a little bit more common sense and patience being aimed for through the course of this. So many heads. And now they charge. Let's make sure we keep getting that XP. This is not the place you want to stand in this room. At least they've all corralled down to one side here, rather than me having to span back and forth repeatedly to get everything. A quick lap of the room for the secret room, because it could be anything, and if it's something like spell damage up again, or spell fire rate, those are all going to be big boons to us in the late game. We do not have the key yet. We can do a quick lap of this room looking for a secret room because I do believe the secret room can spawn off of the boss chamber. Does not seem to be the case here and we also have a second exit. Gets us through this trap room very quickly. going to try and conserve some of our orange mana 
before the boss fight coming. We still haven't seen the boss that I hate. We've managed to have two lucky runs of not running into them yet. That was a terrible shot. make sure oh i think i got it i think i heard the noise of me picking that up just as it was fading out of sight but i'm starting to wonder what am i going to do next month i probably won't upload something every day like i have with this project it's quite time intensive with the uh hour plus long episodes potential every day but I got a few few ideas knocking around the old brain. Where haven't we been yet? Down south. But really, I would just like to get a win in this before we do all that. Because I feel like... I've, I'm sure I've definitely beaten this game once. Only once, but I've definitely done it. And we should upgrade while we have this opportunity. Increased wand attack rate. Recover a small amount of mana at the beginning of each battle. I'll take the free mana. Thank you very much. That's a good start. At this point, I'm not even really sure what perks we would like to see. Something like toughness that's going to increase the amount of da decrease the amount of damage we take from each attack. Seems like it would be a good time. But really, there's so many options and so little agency about what kind of a build you can adapt into. There's our secret room. And this is our key room, so we're not going to have any foes. Increase staff mana pool. It's not a bad one. Grab our key. Nothing to do down the other end of the room. And I think there's one more room down here on the left. Of course, we want to fight every room because we want all the XP we can get. We want any bonuses. There are rooms that just have XP in. This one here could be a fight, could be a boon. And it's a free upgrade. Increase enemy drop rate. That's good. That could be more XP, more health, more mana. I'm not going to complain about that at all. And now we will run very swiftly across the map to the boss room. Where we will see about fighting whoever is presented ahead of us. With our nice amount of HP. Hopefully we have enough to survive this. It's Sir Arthur. About 10 of those shots would probably see him dead. I'm going to probably run out of mana before that. Let's not just stand directly in his lane of fire too much. A couple more. Yep, there he goes. Nothing too tough there. Get all the health. An extra upgrade. Increase your alchemy mana pool or knowledge gems give you more experience. This early, Scholar is wonderful. Even though we're kind of not getting any direct benefit from that upgrade, the ability to gain more XP across the next four floors should hopefully compound into more benefits as we go. Hopefully a magic book or a staff here. It's a spell book. Wraith rings. Uh, this is five cons five circles that slightly home on your enemy, which is very good. Let's show this off as soon as something comes down these stairs. Looks like those big flying guys. 
Yeah. That is very nice. Change it up a bit. If we could get fire rate on this up, that wouldn't be too bad. Might need some more mana as well to keep that going. And it looks like it's going to be another level just from this room alone. Last one over here, perhaps. There's our level. We are at our max HP, which is excellent. Chance of casting a stunning shockwave each time you are hit, or you will recover some mana when hit. Well, as ever, I prefer stuff that doesn't proc when being hit, because I'd rather not be hit at all. Um... This is a chance for a Stunning Shockwave. This is a guaranteed man again. So, I guess I'm going with a guarantee. Especially with such a good spell book that we have going on here. Quick checks for the secret room. It's tough in these big, long rooms. Because it's hard to see where the defined door spawns points are. Not any of those, though. All right, I'm just going to quickly go around to this opposite corner and check. No, I don't see it here. So we'll just do the nearest available doorway to us. Conserve some of that spell book. There is our portal key. That is just the way that all looks. Oh. Athletic boy. Let's see what our alt fire is like with this, if we have enough mana for it. Seems to just be double the darts, which is good. Yeah, this spellbook seems to kill just about anything that it shoots at in one round, apart from the big sky enemies. They might need a couple. But we seem to be doing... Good, efficient damage with this, which is very nice. Not that wall. Not that wall. Not that wall. We will find it. I will not leave this floor without it. It's too valuable as just free stuff. We'll do that last. So it's going to be a long backtrack through a few rooms here. So if you've been watching any of these videos at all, if you've followed any of the saga of the Roguelike Monthly Marathon, what games have you enjoyed seeing? Have you learned about one that you think, oh yeah, that looks really good, I'll give that a go? Because I know there's so many different roguelikes out there, it's very easy to miss them in the sea of releases. Because a lot of, like, I think this is a 2014 title. A lot of stuff comes out and then when something doesn't quite hit the mainstream, like uh, Isaac or Gungeon or Hades, it's very easy for stuff to just kind of be lost in the fray. I need more mana, please. Some of that will do. Yeah, this explosive weapon did a number on the boss last floor, didn't it? That's not a secret room. That's not a secret room. Oh, it's carrots. Everyone, eat your vegetables. And they just kept spawning, didn't they? Oh, 
Well, I certainly prefer this to the fire-making weapon we had last time. I might be able to be caught in my own splash damage, but at least there aren't any surface effects for me to worry about with this one, and that is my preference. That's the wrong door. And we have an upgrade. Attract items from a further distance or increased duration of status effects. Well, we don't have any status effects currently, I believe. So we'll take telekinetic just so we can make sure we're gathering all of our stuff. Here is some extra free XP. We're going from just after one pip on the XP bar. We'll see how much this gives us. Uh, about, yeah, 20% or so. Uh, that is our secret room, ladies and gentlemen. And let's hope for something good. Spell mastery. Increase your spell attack rate. I'm very happy with that. So spells being our spell book as opposed to our stave or our alchemy. This is just a trap room to progress through as opposed to the ones that have a prize or reward at the end of them. Our big guys get exploded. Nice when you can land a hit on two creatures at once with these things. Losing more health than I would like. Let's try and maintain some of that before the boss fight. Nothing else left over here. And we know, obviously, that we've found our secret room now, so we can just zoom on through here. And this is probably the last room. It is. And these guys exploding really aren't fun. Still, not too bad. And straight up to level 7. I have no idea if we're leveling at the average rate or whether these extra experience is doing good work guaranteed level up on picking up a law scroll that's one of the things that we just picked up however scholar 2 for even more knowledge on experience gems seems like a good plan to me because we're guaranteed to pick up experience we're not guaranteed to pick up law scrolls that's the wrong button And for our boss, we're going to go with the explosives again. I don't want to see the big plant, but I knew it would be. I could tell from the scenery. Lady Audrey. Come on, open up. So, I never really figured this one out. I think you have to destroy a certain number of tentacles before the heart will reveal itself. But I'm not certain about that. Or whether it's just on a timer. Luckily, homing shots make this a lot easier. couple more rounds of that and we should be just fine. Of course, we run out of the mana we've been using to maintain that and then it all goes to pot. Hey, we did it. Well, that was the boss I enjoy least and so hopefully that is a good omen of what might be to come. But plowing on. Dead on 20 minutes for two levels.
Cursed Cathedral, floor three. That's another explosive. Polar Blast. We'll give it a go. I think it's a thrown grenade type thing. Maximum mana shield, stronger enemies. Okay. So it's creating some kind of freezing icicle effect. I can't say I'm a big fan. Probably better in larger rooms with fewer flying creatures. I think I will go back and swap out for the alchemy we had already. And a level up. You will encounter treasure rooms more frequently or reduce mana usage for alchemy items. Let's go big on finding more treasure. More treasure means more chances to find awesome stuff, to win. I have no idea if that's really how it works out, but we're going to try. And we have a few options here. We don't have enough mana for that. We're at full health, so we'll offer this along. Your mana pool size is increased. That's good. Happy about that. Let's offer nothing and see what happens. Recover some health and energy. Excellent. And because we recovered energy from that, we can afford this. Your speed is increased. Well, that is a good set of boons if I ever saw them. Can't quite make that jump though, can we? Alright. Oh, shields are just the most fun. Creatures. Right, well, I don't like skeletons with shields. We have learnt this much. No secret room, so going back south. Preserve the books in case we can destroy them for health later. That is one of the available perks. Oh, hello, carrots. Oh, this room sucks. Yeah, this is terrible. Well, that was awful. Exploding carrots running right up in your face. Just my favorite way to eat them. There is our portal key. No secret room to be found in here. And this is treasure room because we are more likely to find treasure rooms. So let's hope it's a good one. It is a health amulet, I think. Boost health and mana recovery for a while. Seems pretty good to me. There's our secret room as well. Your staff mana pool regenerates over time. Super. All right. Let's now just carry on. We've got our portal key. Of course, as ever, we want to do every room for as much XP as we can. I'm going to pop our ham amulet, our amulet, as we are currently low on health. And, oh, this is a trap room. I was so expecting a fight. And 
we have obelisks to destroy. Well, this sucks. Oh god, I do not want to be here, apparently. What are these things that are just lobbing the green sludge at me? Health, please. Health, please. Thank you. Just destroy the obelisk. And then we can worry about everything else in the room. I would like all those drops. Thank you very much. Open. And the minion bar is still so high. Alright, well that could have gone worse. You won't get divine punishments at shrines or even more knowledge gems. Well... We just had three perfect shrines, so I think not ever having divine punishments again seems pretty good. Let's get all this stuff before it fades out of existence. So now we have even more motivation to go and find every room. Because any shrines we can find are just guaranteed boons. What is exploding me from over there? Oh, it's giant vulture birds. Everyone's favorite. Yeah, not having to aim every single shot is just wonderful. Alright, any obvious stuff we missed? No. Another upgrade. Increased attack rate, while stationary, your health regenerates before each battle, but health potions aren't as effective. I'll take Bastion. It's the health potions at the end of fights that really recover us to our most healthy. So I'd like those to remain good. Oh, this is collect the purple blobs. Obviously, we could start attacking, but stuff's just going to keep spawning until we finish our scavenger hunt. So let's get some explosives ready. And then as soon as we finish this... Everyone else is going to go boom. Yeah, that was, that was pretty efficient. Hoover up the mana and the health. Obviously, the XP is gained when you collect the pink blobs rather than the enemies. That way you can't uh, break the system by just killing enemies forever. But we are going to hop back across and do those last two rooms before the boss. As much as we do have good health and mana right now. I'm going to go check everything else out first. Whoa. Yep, yeah, that's me being far too eager. It's always carrots. At least these ones don't seem to explode, perhaps. 
Oh, hello. Where did she come from? And let's just explode these guys for some variety. Very slow shots, physically moving across the room there. Reduces alchemy, recover all your health and energy when picking a portal key. I mean, that seems kind of incredible because it's a free full heal and we can choose when to pick up our portal key. So we just have to remember that we have that when we find our key for picking up on the subsequent floors. Sprint across here as fast as possible. What is this? Just a fight. for the boss it is time for the boss isn't it it is right, run as fast as possible through here avoid the lava nice long walk through here oh look the moon always a full moon standard can't have a remotely gothic horror video game without a full moon everywhere And we don't need to use our amulet yet. Let's go for explosions. And let's make sure we're in the correct room to start with. Percival the Royal Knight. Not Parzival with a Z. A la Ready Player One. Alright, let's pop our... Oh god, these surfaces. Pop our amulet to start recovering some health as we maneuver through the rest of this fight. This one doesn't seem too rough. Yeah, that was pretty routine. No more health, no more mana. And away we go. Floor four of five, I believe. Cursed Cathedral. And we have a different choice of spell book. Frozen Soul. Excuse you. I'm going to stick with... The uh, homing shots. Thank you ever so much. We also did not take extended effect spell, extended effect modifiers earlier, which would have been more beneficial with something like freeze effects. We have reached level 12. Grab all of this real fast. And we're looking still for either... Ma we haven't had any real max health up yet. We haven't had any major damage ups yet. Increased wand man regeneration or your magic wand will have a chance to stun enemies. I guess we'll take the stun, but I'm not that happy about it. No secret room. No secret room. There is our port key. 
We are not going to pick it up yet because it is worth a full heal to us. So let's go explore these other directions first. really bad at is avoiding the attacks that are kind of shockwaves through the ground, like that. I don't pay enough attention to the telegraphing of those attacks. We have increased fire rate while we're standing still. Please be dead. Thank you for taking my request so kindly. Quick look for secret rooms as ever. Not there. Not there, not there. Don't need to go back for our full heal just yet. We will probably pop our amulet though. These guys are unpleasant. Jeez. Triple shots there doing quick work with that. And we'll take our upgrade. Increase your spell mana pool. Chance of stunning when we hit. Let's take the spell mana pool. Don't think there's a secret room over here. It definitely wasn't it, was it? No, of course it wasn't. No crosshair. Oh boy. Well, I mean, we can just attack with our homing weapon if we don't have a crosshair. That's not really any skin off my nose. Or, if that's not working out, just explode stuff. Yeah, that's not like a, a real penalty at all. Okay, not the secret room. Not the secret room. Getting pretty far along this whole floor. And this is a very large room. And we are scavenging, which will be fun. Especially with those big red guys. That seem to shoot out lots of homing stuff. Oh yeah, this is how Missed that one, apparently. Not too many more to go. Okay, we have a minion's health bar. We can start damaging stuff. Plenty of health drops there, which is lovely. And we know that triple shots to the chest do a good number against these guys. Alright, where's that last guy? Another upgrade. 
Have a chance of shocking or shuffle. Discard all your current weapons and get new ones with improved attack rate. No, the... Uh, the... Explosions are pretty good and the homing darts are excellent. So I'm going to politely decline that choice. Still do not require our free max heal from picking up our portal key. No sign of secret room. Let's spend some of our blue mana. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it might have been the shockwave that I put out when I get hit. That sounds about right. I do not like those guys. the range on this stuff. Okay. God, so many rooms still left. Unless, I guess, this could be our boss room. Did we find that already? We did not. And this isn't it. Obelisks. Not the Tormentor, don't get yourself confused. There's a great Yu-Gi-Oh call back there. I guess it is kind of big and blue. Is there another oh, there is another one. Oh, it's Blue Eyes White Dragons, because there's always three of them to make Blue Eyes White Ultimate Dragon. That's the difference, you see. should have collected the loot a little more efficiently back there before coming all the way down here. But my choice is made now. And we have an upgrade. Recover mana from knowledge gems or high stakes. Gamble your life with Grim Reaper. If you win, your health and mana is refilled. If you don't, your maximum health is created decreased by 25%. Well, we don't need to refill our health and mana, so we'll take recover mana from knowledge gems. Let's check the long sides of this room for a secret room. I do not see one. There's a lot of surfaces and walls that it could be on in this floor, though. I'm hoping we'll just find it really obviously in the remainder of our journey. That's the same room. Or at least a room we've already done. That looks painful though, doesn't it? Obelisks again. Three triple shots gets one of those down. That's great intel. And here, we can casually just hop between these two. Alright, there's our XP gain. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the tiny bastards are going to be very numerical here. And by numerical, I mean numerous. That's the word my brain wanted. And as ever, you know the drill. Looking for that secret room. Every boon, every upgrade is an important one. But I'm just not seeing it. If I have to go back and do a full lap of the entire arena to look for it, I promise I will pause the recording. Oh, we have an upgrade. We should do that. Your staff regenerates two or chance of stunning wave two. Um, we don't even have a staff yet, so I guess I'm taking revenge. And there is a scroll of experience and a secret room. That is lovely. Attract items from further away too. And a lore scroll with some XP associated with it. And we now need to head over in that direction. Which does mean going through this entire room. Okay. Ooh, okay. Quick sprint through here. 47 minutes in. It's not going terribly so far. Another treasure room. And this one is just points and enemies, which is a really bad treasure room because I don't care about the high score. I care about the upgrades. Although that said, we do still get XP for defeating these guys. And their 100 mini-me's. Jeez Louise. I guess it's this version's... This game's version of a uh, gelatinous cube of sorts. Nothing we can't handle, though. All right. And this is an altar room, and we cannot receive bad curses from these things. So, during your next combat, your wand deals double damage. Fine. Increased protection against enemy attacks. That is awesome. Increased attack rate. A lot of good stuff there. And this may well be a long room connecting these two. It is indeed. Uh, lots of health potions. Okay, and we have loads of wand damage this room, right? Is what it said. And obviously, the health potions are very nice. If there was ever a room you can just kind of opt into tanking, it's when everything is dropping extra health potions. And get the skyfish. Yeah. 
Excellent. Very, very close to another level. And we're going through this door here. So this is our last room before going through our key room. We'll probably have to pick up the key before going down, but it might move straight onto the boss room. But we can certainly burn as much mana as we want in here because we know we're going to get a full heal and a full mana after this room. So no need to conserve anything in here. There is level 17. I think the highest we reached in previous runs was 20. We may still reach such dizzying heights before the end of floor 5. Take our upgrade. Increase your spell damage. Slightly, decre slightly decrease your stave and alchemy damage. Yes. That's what we took right back at the very beginning, saying we're going to go hard on that or go home. So, nice when that works out. Especially with the spell book I'm so fond of. Oh. There's no fall damage, but that would have just been an inconvenience... Can we swing by this thing without picking it up? We can. So if there's another room to fight, no, it is just the boss. So full heal, full mana. And straight into the boss fight. We also have our amulet available. There'll be lots of just shooting and strafing here, I imagine. Unfortunately, our shots are getting pulled away from our main foe to his support. But not to worry. Right. Get all this stuff as it rains from the sky. Full health. Full mana. Final floor. Let's go. 52 minutes. Must be a speed run. Seventy-six times, and four of them have been in the last two weeks. Final floor. It's another spell book. We are literally not going to get a staff, which is one of the things I wish this game would change. Uh, Whirlwind of Uthar. Interesting, but not what I want at this point. So, again, looking for our port key, because we get a full heal from it later on. And we really are going to be focusing now on using this spell book to keep us as alive as we can be by letting us hopefully do a lot of evading while attacking with homing shots that mean we don't have to focus fire too heavily on specific targets we can let the homing do that job for us. Right. No sign of a secret room. Scavenge is purple blob getting, pink blob getting. I'd say that's closer to pink. And an upgrade. Is that level 18, perhaps? Oh, that's a good good haul right there. Not too much left to go. Might be time to pull out the explosives. getting that mana that we need so badly.
And another upgrade. Switches your mana pools randomly and increases their size or increase effects of increased duration of state effects. Well, our mana pools are all kind of between within a 30 point range of each other 212, 237, 242. So it's basically a coin flip about whether our spell book goes up or down. And if it does go down, how much more, how close to 212 will it be? So we want the spell book to go up from 237, please. Uh, it's 237 now and is slightly empty. So I think that worked out for us. Uh, very quick poke around for secret room so provided nothing goes terribly wrong along the way we are basically guaranteed to go into our boss fight with max health and max uh, mana because of one of the boons we have oh Lovely. The Undead Scepter. This was unexpected, but I'm grateful for it. Let's see. Uh, okay, we can go straight over. Okay. Great big wide attacks. Let that drop off loads of its stuff. Start on this guy. That is a lot of skeletons. And there's one more hiding somewhere. There it is. Triple shot. Triple shot. Triple shot. All right, let's give this a go. Perhaps this isn't doing very much damage at all, but oh boy, there's so many skeletons. Oh, mana, please. I guess at any individual time, most of the shots aren't hitting a target because of how wide the spread is. There's a secret room. We'll take the secret room before the upgrade. Increase your spell attack rate. That's very nice. You'll recover some mana when hit. Increase your staff mana pool. Well, let's take... Mana when hit, we can try and maintain one weapon for as long as possible through the final fight. That is a very large room. not really sure i know we have like magnetism 2 but i'm really not sure how magnetism 1 magnetism 2 and magnetism 0 compare on the scale of having stuff be drawn to us from further away but that went pretty smoothly i would say now we can just start knocking out rooms really quick. Now that we've seen our secret room, 
there is a scroll of experience which will put us up another level. Life awareness. Increase your health limit. Increase your max and current health, but reduce the size of your mana pools. I mean, I guess we just take the standard increase. Increase your max and current health. Increase your health limit. I don't know what the difference between these two is in numbers, but I'm just going to take the health limit. And then... Looking for a route back. Haven't seen our port key yet, which is just fine by me. Great weapon for this room. Make sure we're moving forward to pick up all of this mana, uh, energy, uh, experience. Third time's the charm. All right. Very nice. We might just eke out one more level. Uh, we'll to come out of here and take a right. Obelisks, my favorite. It's easier when they put one right in front of you, though. Did get another level. Twenty one. Still not really sure if this staff is good, but if I can conserve the weapons I know what I'm doing with for the later, I'm fine with that. with the god this minion bar is not going down with the obelisks the experience is in the obelisks so we don't have to worry about zooming around and collecting all the xp after killing stuff in here obviously we'd like to recover any available mana but xp not a concern One assumes that if you get right up close, you're going to do loads of damage because the whole spray is right up in one person's face. You will recover some mana when hit. Your alchemy pool slowly regenerates over time. Well, I don't care about this, so we might as well go hard on sacrifice. Let's change out to this. Drops actually 
move down surfaces so we could just let all the mana yeah come down towards us just check for any yep there's some xp there a little bit more down here always worth checking right what rooms do we have left two off the start a bunch on that side so we'll do this one on the right first We, I'm just going to pop my health and mana regeneration now. We should have not gone that way. Uh, we have not had one of these yet this run. A trap parkour room. Yep. Yeah. Screwed that up. Let's try once more. Could be XP or a better amulet or a weapon at the other end. Oh, come on. I was on that platform and you know it. Yeah, that was terrible. That was my fault. Right, if we get to 100 HP... We will leave. Alright, I just missed the jump on that one entirely. My parkour skills are letting me down. There's like a little bit of acceleration just as you come underneath. Alright. Boosts experience by knowledge gems for a while. I mean, it's a bit late for it, isn't it? If I can keep this with me through to a uh, through fully charged through to the boss fight, then that could be some more health during the boss fight. So we're going straight across, straight across, straight across. And if I can get any extra HP during that final boss fight, that can only stand to benefit me, because... Uh, we, we did find our secret room. Uh, yeah, any extra energy, uh, health during that boss fight is going to be very valuable, because I'm not able of defeat. I'm not able to defeat it currently, so more health can only help right give up some blue mana sure your max health is increased excellent because we're going to get a full heal when we come back later to get our thing alchemy attacks require less mana but others attacks use more well that's not what i wanted uh we'll talk about you later because half of my max health puts me down to like not very much And it is too early to go sacrificing down to, like, 60 health. There's our boss room. So if all that remains is... Oh, there's two rooms at least. So one of them will be our port key room. And if the other one is combat, then what we can do is do the combat, go and sacrifice some health, come back again, get our port key to max health, and then go do the boss... Uh, get our port key, do the fight. You understand. You're smart people. How have I not seen these guys in like three runs and now they're everywhere? Alright. Not the worst room. Not the best. Still at least three more. So, keep trucking along. That's a very large room. What this should offer us is plenty of time to get our amulet recharged before that boss.
just so many of them. But I guess I would rather a high volume of weak enemies as opposed to a few real tanks. All right. Another level. Surprising, but welcome. Reduce the amount of damage you take. Increase chance of getting mana gems over health potions and increase drop rate. Well, we'll take thick skin at this stage. Thank you very much. Last couple of rooms. There is our port key. There's no other room off of it. So that will be the last thing we do before visiting the final boss. I expect this to be combat. all that stuff up. Nice and simple. Get that last bit of XP. You can only use your wand. Increase damage. Alright. a shame really because we're going to get all this mana and then immediately be able to refill to max mana when we pick up our port key so it's a bit of a waste we did this now but we can't change it so is what it is let that wand mana tick up a little bit bar is not going down fast enough here. It's because all the big guys were hiding on this side of the map, obviously. Still not done. All right. So that is it. So we need to come to this goblet room, sacrifice our health for a boon, go and get our port key for a full heal, and then onto the boss room. And then perhaps, just maybe, we've built a run that can do this. Or maybe I've learnt the patterns a bit more. You earn a new magic weapon. Uh, well, that is better than that for the fight we're going into, so I will take it. Now we need to go left, right, left, left. This will be a full heal and all full mana. So this, this is what this weapon does. And that is standing still with our regular fire, with our alt fire while standing still. It's very fast. So full heal, full mana, 
let's go find a boss. I mean, we know where it is. Let's just hope we don't get wrecked by it too quickly. All right, one hour and 15. We're getting faster at this. If we take nothing else away from this, we've gotten faster. All right, I'm gonna open up with a volley of right click this weapon, then switch over to the homing and try and do a better job of jumping over the ground smash attacks, but we'll see how we do. If you hadn't noticed, we are in radio silence, it seems. But so far, so good. Right, pop the... Uh, amulet. I think we've done it. Would you look at that? The examiner, after witnessing the, with pride your mastery of the arcane ways, is something. For that, he hands over the scroll sealed with golden wax that allows you to exit the ziggurat. You have to read it in front of the guild members to end this test. The Daedalon brothers await the return of students with anticipation. The silhouette is the first to appear through the portal and everyone holds their breath with fascination and disconcert. The time for silence has passed. The brothers lean over their seats, eager to bear your words, hear your words. Blah de blah, blah de blah de blah. Well, we've done it. So, going to our trophy cabinet. You can see Ziggurat there in the bottom right. And with the push of a button, we now pop it into its glorious colour. And that is another win. So we now only have four of the 15 games that we started with that I have not yet defeated this month. So join me tomorrow. And we'll see if we can't find another win. Yesterday we got a 1.5 million score. I'm just curious. How did we do? Two point one nine two million. And we have unlocked new game modes. Lovely stuff. Well, thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please consider liking it or subscribing or checking out any of my other videos. A playlist of this whole series can be found in the description. And I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.